This is a brilliant little thumb toy from the Tyrol. When you press the base of it, the little clown bends down and with his head, he picks up the little ball on his head. There's a magnet, you see. Lovely idea, that, isn't it? So it's one of those little thumb toys, I call it. You normally put a thumb through there. But the idea of picking up a ball on his head is a very nice concept. And it's because it's a magnet. Magnet on the head and magnet on the ball. By contrast, this is very tongue-in-the-cheek. It's supposed to be the most difficult puzzle in the world. According to the instructions, you're supposed to assemble that. They don't say what into. It's just, of course, a bag of sawdust. But the idea of calling it the world's most difficult puzzle is a nice one, and it's amused a lot of my puzzle friends. One person even gave me a little block of wood, supposedly the solution of this. So a nice way of marketing the sawdust, which is normally sent to waste, of course. <laughs> then there's two little clothes pegs, which are decorated with rubber exteriors, so you can put this in a clothes line. That's a shark, but inside there is a plastic clothes peg, and that will now grip quite firmly, in fact. It could be used for holding papers in the office, actually, as well, but it could be used on the clothes line as a humorous way of holding your clothes to the line to stop them blowing away in the wind. And this one here is for carnival time. It's a crown which opens up beautifully and sits on the head, like this, as a girl would do, to be the fairy carnival princess, and then closes so nicely. I quite like it when it's half closed like that. It looks like a crown again for the head, and then it closes up completely, wraps away for next year. A nice item. <laughs>